Hello to all my friends. Uh, today I'm going to show you something about berries. As I have uh, some experience for this for about uh, more than 10 years, and I have accumulated some knowledge of bearings. And uh, today I'm going to show all my knowledge about, about bearings to you. Uh, it's, a, it's because we are a factory of uh, China and we produce different types of uh, bearings. So if you have uh, any inquiry about bearings, please feel free to contact me. Okay, now we, now we check the bearing classification. First, uh, the composition of bearings. Uh, as we can see from this image, uh, and I separate uh, the bearings into four parts. And uh, now let's check it one by one. First, it is uh, outside grain. Let's check, it out. check out here. The outside of a bearing. We call it outside grain. Next is uh, inner grain. Of course, outside and inner. Okay, next is uh, the ball or the ruler. Of course, sometimes it is ruler and uh, sometimes it is ball. It depends on the bearings. So different bearings have a different type. And the next is uh, cage. Uh, the cage is used for, uh, for the bearings to stop the balls to come out. Uh, and it is the full part of a bearing. Okay, next, the type of uh, the ruling element. Here I mean the balls and the rulers. So let's check out the six images here. First, it is a ball, and it is a very standard ball, as we can see here. It is widely used in different kind of bearings, and later we'll talk about it. Next is a spherical ruler. Uh, we can see from the image that uh, the surface of this ruler is not flat. I mean, it is a spherical. So we call it spherical ruler. The next is a spherical tapered ruler. And uh, as we can see from this photo, it's not only a spherical ruler, but also a tapered ruler. So it is also widely used in different kind of bearings. Next one is a cylindrical ruler. This is a very common uh, ruling element, uh, mainly used in uh, cylindrical, cylindrical ruler bearings and uh, we are going to see some photos later. And the next is a uh, needle ruler. Uh, as we can see from the image, it's just like a needle. It's very thin. And sometimes uh, it is blurred. Sometimes it is hard to recognize the difference between cylindrical ruler and a needle ruler. Uh, but uh, I suggest you to check the difference of it because here we can see that cylindrical ruler, it is very thick and this one is thin. Uh, and the last one is the tapered ruler. It's mainly used on tapered ruler bearings, and uh, then we can see it later. Then it's the six different images of uh, this kind of uh, bearings uh, are widely used. Uh, the next is uh, the types of uh, cages, as we can see from uh, this three cages. We can clearly see the difference of them from the color. Uh, the first one is uh, steel kit, and uh, we can check out the metal color here. Uh, it's widely used in different kind of bearings. Steel kit, the material, I mean, it's uh, steel. And the next one is uh, nylon kit, and uh, we can see from the, the color, it is like gray or black or something like that. And uh, it is also widely used uh, in different kind of bearings. For example, uh, the uh, cylindrical ruler bearings, the NU bearings, and uh, we call it uh, ECP bearings. Next is uh, brass kit. It is also very common use in different kind of bearings because bar brass is a very kind of strong kit. Okay. Uh, that's the classification classification of uh, the three uh, cages. The next is uh, let's check out different kind of bearings. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, friends ask me about uh, what 
the classification of the bearings. And uh, um, some of my friends, they, they know the, something about bearing, but not too much. So today we introduce the detail of them. Firstly, we talk about the deep groove ball bearing. A single row deep groove ball bearings are the most common type of uh, ruling bearings. Uh, their use is uh, widely spread. In addition to open type bearings, these bearings often have uh, steel shields, shields and rubber seals installed on them both sides and are pre, -pre, -pre lubricated with grease. So let's check out some photos of it. Firstly, it's uh, 2RS version. Lots of people ask for this kind of uh, bearings because it is really widely used in different uh, industries. Uh, for example, the motorcycle and uh, the machine tool or some, some industry like that. Uh, the most important thing of uh, these bearings is the seal. Let's check out uh, between the outside ring and the inner side ring, we can see a black seal. Sometimes the seal is red or green or anything or any color is okay. But uh, we have to know that uh, this, kind of, this kind of seal is made of uh, rubber and uh, rubber seal, the 2RS version, most common version. Next one is the ZZ version. Uh, we can see from here. We can see from the seal that it's made of uh, steel. Uh, we call it steel seal. So it's different from rubber seal we just saw before. And of course, uh, sometimes uh, there's not need for a bearing to use seal. Let's check out this bearing open version. It means the version without any seal, no matter rubber seal or steel seal, it is not need. And uh, that's the three type of uh, deep groove ball bearings. So if you are in need of uh, some bearings uh, for this kind of ball bearings, you have to make it clear what kind of uh, type do you need. It is very important for different chains. If you just uh, use the wrong bearings on machines, it will be damageable for your machines. So please take care. Next, let's check out the self-aligning ball bearing. Uh, I don't want to say too much about this kind of bearing because uh, it is not a common sense bearing uh, because it can be taken place by another kind of bearing, spherical ruler bearings. They have uh, similar functions. Uh, but uh, we just uh, here, we, we talk about it for a little time. The self-aligning ball bearings has two rows of steel balls. And we can see here, two rows. The inner ring has two race bays. That means the inner ring. The inner ring has two race bays. And the outer ring is an inner spherical shape, which has the performance of self-aligning and can automatically compensate uh, so, suitable for parts where the, the support seat hole cannot guarantee strict uh, coaxiality. Uh, so, let, let's just uh, forget this kind of uh, bearing because it's not common sense now. Next is uh, the spherical ruler bearing. As we just said, uh, mostly the spherical ruler bearing just can take place of uh, uh, the uh, the the self-aligning ball bearings. So today we, we are going to introduce this kind of bearing. Uh, spherical ruler bearings, let's check out here. Spherical ruler bearings have uh, two rows of rulers, which are mainly used to bear real radical load, but can also bear axle load in any direction. It has high radical load capacity especially suitable for working under heavy load or vibration load, but it cannot bear pure X load. Let's take out here. And uh, for this kind of uh, bearings, there are very different, uh, many, many different types. So we, we have to make it very clear because different kind of uh, spherical ruler bearing has a really different price. Sometimes it is pretty high, but sometimes it's cheap. First, we check this kind of uh, kit, CC kit. 
for example, 22222cc. Uh, it's a kind of uh, spherical ruler bearings. Let's check out the cage here. The cage is thick and big, and, we, uh, and most commonly the, the color is gray or black. Uh, some, some, some big suppliers uh, like SCAF, they make it gray. And uh, because this kind of uh, cage has its own restriction, and I mean that uh, uh, as we, we can see here from the ruler, the ruler is small and uh, there are not too much rulers. So this kind of uh, bearings may be the cheapest version of uh, the spherical ruler bearings. So just to check. So how we, we recognize the, the how how we recognize it, we see from the thickness of it. It's thick, then it's uh, CC. Okay, next is E cage. This kind of cage is uh, similar to the CC cage. It's also steel and it's also black or gray, but its structure is a little bit different. We can see here. It is a uh, very very thin, but the CC kit here it is very thick. So this kind of structure help the bearings to take more rulers, and we can see the rulers here. The rulers are bigger, and you can see from here the rulers are smaller. So it help the bearings to have more capacity. So that is uh, why this kind of uh, E kit bearing is very expensive, and uh, some SKF bearings, SKF suppliers, they mainly produce this kind of bearings, which has a perfect quality. Okay, next is the CA kit. CA kit, this kind of uh, kit is made of uh, uh, brass or copper. Let's check out here, the color is yellow. It's a single clip copper kit. Let's check out here. It's single row, single kit. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's it's single. Let's check out here. It's very important. We call it CA. There are two elements of it. One is brass. One is single. Okay. Let's see next MB type. MB means machine brass. It's also made of brass, but it's has a very clear difference with the CA version. Let's check out here. It's double row, double clipper. And the CA type, it is a single clipper. So that's the difference between them. We call it MB. For example, 22222 MB means this double clipper bearings. It's also used in some big bearing suppliers for like FAG. And uh, next it is a EE kit, E1 kit. Let's check it out here. The E1 kit is a very different kind of uh, kit than the, the others because its kit is also black and it's also very thin. Let's check out here. It's just in the middle between outside ring and inner side ring. Let's check, check out, there are some uh, empties here and empties here. So from here, we can recognize that is a E1 kit. Okay, that is all, all about the spherical ruler bearings. Uh, so if you want to know more, you can just uh, visit our website and, uh, or you can send an inquiry to me. Uh, next is the tapered ruler bearings. Uh, tapered ruler bearings are mainly used to bear combined radical and axical loads based on radical loads. Tapered ruler bearings with large cone angles can be used to bear combined radical and axial loads based on axial loads. So this kind of bearing are widely used in different of area for industry, for automobile, and especially for automobile. Some heavy trucks and uh, some, uh, 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 some vehicles like trains, they use this kind of uh, bearings for their views and uh, something like that. So it's very popular used. So let's check out here. Tapered. The ruler is tapered and the kit is tapered.
Okay, next. Cylindrical ruler bearings. The ruler of uh, cylindrical ruler is uh, uh, is usually guided by the two ribs of a ring, uh, the cage, the ruler, and the guide ring from an assembly, which can be separated from the other bearings ring. It is a separate bearing. Uh, this kind of bearing is more convenient to install and uh, disassemble, especially when the inner and outside ring and the shaft and the shell are required to be interface fit. Let's check out. It is a ruler, outside ring, and an inner side ring, and a cage. So let's see the difference between these kind of bearings. First is the ECM version. Uh, we call it brass cage. Let's check out the cage here. It is yellow, made of brass. Next, it is a nylon cage. Uh, we call it ECP suffix. And uh, the cage is uh, just uh, like this. Check check out here. It's made of uh, nylon, and we call it ECP. The next uh, is uh, steel cage. Let's check out here. The cage is made of uh, steel. Okay, next is a uh, needle bearing. Uh, as we just talked before about uh, needle bearings, the ruler here is made of. Uh, it's just uh, like a needle. It's a little bit different with the. Uh, the ruler, because as I said, that uh, ruler is thick, but uh, needle is uh, thin. It's just uh, like a needle. Needle ruler bearings are equipped with uh, slender and long rulers, so the radical structure is compact. Then the inner diameter and uh, the load capacity are the same as the other bearings types. The outside diameter is small. It is especially Actually suitable for supporting structures with limited radical installation dimensions. So, uh, now there's a lot of uh, vehicles use kind of uh, these uh, bearings. Next is the uh, angular contact bearings, ball bearings. Angular contact ball bearings, steel ball, and outer ring raised with contact point has a larger actual angle between the bearing action line and the radical plane of the bearings. This angle is the moment of contact degree. Uh, sometimes we mainly use this kind of bearing on machine two. So we, we, we sometimes we call it machine two bearings. Angular contact ball bearings have a high limit speed and can bear radical and bearing loads at the same time. And uh, can also bear pure axle loads. Let's check out the different cages and uh, different rows, single row and uh, double row. Next, thrust ball bearings. As we can see, thrust ball bearings are separate ball bearings with a contact angle of 90 degree, which can only bear axial load, and the limited speed is slow. This type of bearing is often used in vertical drilling machines, vertical water pump, left temple seats, automobile clutches, jackets, valves, and uh, the drilling machine turntables. Next is the thrust ruler bearing. Thrust ruler bearings include thrust taper rulers, thrust spherical rulers bearings, thrust cylindrical ruler bearings, and thrust needle ruler bearings. And we can see from here. The last one is pillow block bearing. Sometimes we call it agriculture bearing because it is widely used on agriculture machines. Uh, pillar block bearings, the most commonly used type of uh, mounted units, are designed to provide shaft support where the mounting surface is parallel to the shaft axis. Let's check, check out first this uh, UCP bearing. We can see this like a P, UCP bearing. Next is the UCF type. It's uh, uh, like a square UCF type. Next is uh, UCT type. It's just like a T. Let's check here. UCT type. And next is UCFL type. Okay, uh, let's all the basic knowledge about bearings.
So if you want to know more about berries, you can visit our website to check out the difference between different berries. Uh, if uh, you are a bearing trader or a bearing uh, buyer, you can just feel free to contact me. And here is my WhatsApp and my email. So welcome inquiry. Thanks for watching.